Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a beaded cushion sea star ring. This ring is for those of you who are advanced beaders. This is not a beginner tutorial. This is going to be one of the most confusing rings that I've made in the tutorial. The second one I would say would be the uh, puffy heart ring. If you can make that ring, you could probably make this ring. And it's probably also close to the royal beaded pendant. That was a tough one. So anyways, I will be using different colored beads to show you how to make this so you can see what I'm doing. I'll be using brighter ones, of course, because these ones are a bit dark and it's kind of hard to see. Um, I will color my strings to different colors. And if you notice here the band, it's much different than my other bands. I had to make a band just for this star. I tried all my other bands and they would not work out for this star. So I had to come up with a new design for this star in order to get it to work. And that's what my band looks like. So this is going to be a tough one, guys. I'm going to try my best to teach you how to do it. Here are the materials and stuff you're going to need. Here is the list of materials you're going to need to make this ring. You're going to need 4 feet of 10 or 8 pound test fishing line, 6 aught seed beads, and I am doing 3 different colors of 6 aughts, but in this ring I actually did 2. I'm also doing 11 aught seed beads, and I'm doing those in four different colors in this ring I actually did that in three different colors 11 ounce and you'll also need some fine point tweezers like these they're really small you know sometimes whenever we get in a tough position we can't get our string through or maybe it goes in somewhere and we can't grab it with our fingers I like to use tweezers to get it out and these are just eyebrow tweezers they do sell tweezers like this they're called knotting tweezers but you have to order them offline. I've never seen them in a store unless maybe you go to a bead store. Okay, we're going to start out by picking up five 11 ounce sea beads and crossing through the last. Bring your strings together like this. And bring the seed bead all the way down to the center. And we should have like a little flower. Now I'm going to take one of my strings, I'll do the red one, and pick up two 11 aughts, one 6 aught, two 11s, and cross through the 11s. And now we should have this. We need to reposition our string. I'm going to take my red string, which is the inside string, and go through this blue C bead right here. Just like that. And now on this string, I have to pick up some new beads. I'm going to pick up a 6 aught and two creams and cross through the creams. Bring that down, and we should have this. And now we have to reposition our string again. So again, take the inside string and go through the next 11 knot C bead, just like that. I'm getting caught on my tripod here, just like this. And now on your outside string, this one, I'm going to pick up a six knot, two 11s. And cross to the 11s. Bring that down. And now we should have this. I'm going to take my inside string again, my red string, and go through this blue C bead. Chart show. Now I'm going to take my outside string, pick up a 6 aught, pick up my two last 11s and cross through them, bring it down, and now we have this. Now I'm going to take my inside string, it's now black, 
and it's Xing out the, t the top center. I'm going to take my inside string and go down through this blue seed bead. And then I'm going to take and go through these two cream seed beads right here. Just like that. So now they're exiting like this out of the cream. Now I'm going to pick up an orange, six out my last orange, cross to them. And now we have this. This is the center of our star. It's the center. Now check to see if your strings are the same length. I always try to keep my strings around the same length because if you don't and you get to the end of the ring you won't have enough string to make your band. You have to take it apart. It's not hard to take it apart. It comes apart very easily. It's just that, yeah, my needles are fine. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my strings and pick up a brown, six hot, and I'm going to go through this orange, six hot. Just like that. Pick up another brown and go through the next orange. Now I'm going to swap to my other string. Pick up a brown and go through my next orange. Pick up another brown and then go through the next orange. Pull my strings and we should have this. So now we have four brown seed beads and we actually need five. And my strings are exiting right there so I'm going to pick up another brown and cross through that. And now we have finished the center of our star. Now we have to add another row of six hot seed beads. I'm going to take my black string and pick up two six hots. And I'm exiting out of this bead here. So this is my string. I'm going to go and skip over the orange and go through the next brown. Just like this. And now I'm going to take and pick up two more browns and go through this brown. Skip over an orange and go through the next brown. Now I have this. I'm going to take my other string, pick up two browns, skip over this orange, and go through the next brown. Take this string again, pick up two browns, and skip over the orange and go through the next brown. Now we have this. And we have two C beads left. I'm going to take my longer of the two strings, and that's my black one, and I'm going to pick up two brown seed beads. I'm exiting out of this bead right here. So this is my string. I'm going to go through this brown seed bead and then through this brown seed bead. And now I have to take and get this string, my red, to exit through this brown. So now we have this. Pull it nice and tight and we should have that. So this is where my points are going to be. Point here, point here, points there, here, and here. So take one of your strings, mine's black, pick up one blue, and go through this six up. 
and then go through this one. And then go through the next brown. Pick up another six hot and go through this brown and through the next brown. If you can, sometimes it's tough. Pull that through, and there's your point. Now we have to go through this six aught and exit on the point. So we go through three six aught C beads and we have to get to a point and exit out there and then we can add our point bead which is my blue one. I'm going to take my other string since I already added two blue and pick up one blue six aught and go through these two six aught browns and then through this six out add a point go through this brown and try to go through the other three so I went through those two and I have to go through this brown here And now my strings are exiting out of the brown seed beads and they're very close to each other. So pull your strings really good and make sure that your beads are where they need to be. Now we have to add our last six at seed bead. This is our very last one. And then we're going to be embellishing the top of the star. Let's pick up the six and cross through it. Now we have the base of our star and we are ready to add the embellishment seed beads on the top, like in this ring. Now we have to embellish the top. I'm going to pick up two cream colored seed beads on each string and cross through an orange. Now I'm going to pick up two blue on each string and slide them down and I'll take my red string in my right hand and I'm going to go through this second brown seed bead so it's the center brown one go through there then I'm going to take my black string my left string and I'm going to go through this brown seed bead on the center too and pinch my star so it'll bend to get my string through and now we have this. I'm going to pull my strings tight and push that down so it goes flat. And now I have to pick up on my red string two blues, one orange, and two cream. This is where it's going to start getting confusing. Slide them down. I'm going to take my string and go through this blue bead. So I'm going in an angle like this. I'm going through this blue bead and I'm going to take and pick up two cream seed beads slide them down and go through this orange seed bead in this direction to make an X just like we did here. Now pick up two more blue and slide them down and go through this brown seed bead over here in the center. So remember it's through there and I'm going through the middle one. Pull this. Pull it nice and tight and press this down so we have a nice X. And do the same on this side. So now I'm going to take this string and pick up two blue seed beads, one orange, and two creams. Slide them down and go through this six up right here. 
And I'm going to pick up two creams and go through this orange. And take this string and go through two blue. Slide that down. And now I have to go through this center brown bead. So I'm pinch my star, go through there. Pull my string tight, push the X down, and pull my other string tight. I'm going to take my red string now, it's longer. Pick up two blue, one orange, and two creams. Slide that down. And go through this blue here. Now I'm going to pick up two creams and go through this orange. Now I have to pick up two blues and go through this brown seed bead here. So pinch my star and go through the center brown. Pull it just like that. Now pull both of your strings and flatten the points to make sure they're nice and flat squares. Or X's I mean. now we have to close this up. Let's close this up. I'm going to pick up two blue C beads on each string. And then I'm going to pick up my orange and cross through my orange. Bring it down just like that. I'm going to pick up two creams now on each string. Slide them down. And I'm just going to cross my strings through this blue bead here. I was thinking that instead of just doing this as a ring, that this would probably be really cute as earrings too. Because you know how we exit out like this bead here and you can add a beaded bail. Or if you have thin jump ring, you can put that through here. And make an earring earrings and if you want to do this as a pendant I think that you should put it on a very thin dainty chain just because this is so light and if you put it on something big it wouldn't fall in the center where it needs to fall because it's so light it wouldn't fall to the center of your necklace so now we're ready to do the band so this is how the band is connected I have five legs and my starfish of course but I had to connect these two legs and make a band going across and connect it to these two legs. So I only have this is point is not connected to nothing. So when you wear this ring, you have to wear it like this. So when people see your ring, the star is pointed up. This is how the star sits. So it fits better like this on your finger. So don't flop it over and wear it the other way because this here will actually catch on to stuff. So that's how you would wear it. Now, this band is made with two needle right angle weave. First, I'm going to pick up two brown C beads. And then I'm going to pick up two orange. Cross through them. tight press that X down because it's popping up some so see here it's large we're starting at large and we're going to decrease so I'm going to pick up a cream on my left string and a blue on my right string and cross through a brown pull it down just like this and now on my left string I'm going to pick up a cream my right will pick up a blue and then I'm going to pick up a brown and cross through that and I'm going to be doing this for a while cream blue slide them down 
pick up a brown and cross through that. Bring it down. So again, cream my left, blue on my right, and cross through a brown. So keep doing this stitch where you pick up a cream and then a blue and you cross through a brown. And keep going until you get to this, a size that you think is close to your finger and wrap it around. And I'll keep going and show you what I mean when I get there in mine. Alright, so I kept on going until I got to a ring band that is almost going to fit my finger. And I'm wrapping it around like this. And you have to make sure that you have a point facing up and then we will be connecting it to this leg right here. So it would be just like that. Now, in this ring, my center of my band is those silver beads. And then I have the iris on the outside with black. So this cream is going to be the center of my band. So now I need to increase on my stitch again. And what I mean is just right here, I'm going to go from cream blue, uh, cream and blue, cross through two orange, and then I'm going to be picking up my brown, and I'll be connecting it to the other side. So I already have a cream and a blue one, and I'm going to take my strings, pick up two orange seed beads, and cross through them, just like this, increasing. And now I'm going to take my black string. Remember this is the inside of my stitch right here and I'm going to pick up two brown seed beads and on my red string I'll pick up two brown seed beads and I'm going to take my red string and go through this blue six out and then I'm going to take and cross through these two brown 11 knots just like this pull it and now we have part of our band added so this is the top of my ring this is the bottom and the cream is going to be the center and the blue is going to be on the top and I will also have blue on the bottom so cream is in the center so this is what we should have so now I have to take my black string, which is this string here, and go through these three brown seed beads. <coughs> this might be a little tough to get it through, so you might have to use your tweezers. So I'm going to go through this seed bead, and then I'm going to go through the middle. And I found that if you bend the star like this, oops, sorry. If you bend the star like this, it's easier to get your string to go through. Now mine went under the blue, so I'm just going to go like this. And now we have to go through the last brown. So pull your strings and tighten it up because it's getting loose on the band that we just worked on. Alright, so my, my red string is exiting out of this brown CB tier and my black is exiting out of this six hot brown. I'm going to take and pick up two brown C beads across to them. like this. And I'm going to take my red string, which is this one, and go through this blue six hot. Just like that. And I'm going to take with my red string on this side and pick up two browns. Set them down. Pick up two oranges and cross through them. And pull tight. And this is what we have. 
Now we're going to start doing our two needle right angle weave. I'm going to take my red string, this one, and go through this white seed weed. Pull it through. And I'm going to take my black string, exiting out on this side over here, and pick up one blue and one brown and cross through a brown. Just like this. So see, this is where we increase in that side, doing the same there too. Now I have to reposition my string. Take my left string and go through this cream colored sea bead. Just like this. So I'm mirroring the other side. I'm doing what is on the other side is, is going to be on this side too. On my right string, I'm going to pick up one blue, and then I'm going to cross through a brown. Now I'm going to take my red string and reposition it by going through this cream bead. Then I'm going to take my black string and pick up a blue seed bead and then a brown and I'm going to cross to this brown. Just like this. Now I'm going to re reposition my string again. I'm going to take my left string and step up and go through this cream seed bead. So every time we cross to the brown, I have to take my left string and go through the cream. And I'm going to pick up a blue and a brown and cross to that. So I'm just repeating the same thing over. What I did on this side, what I did on this side, I'm doing on this side. So see, now I have to go through that cream one again. Through the cream. Oops. Just like this. Take my black string and pick up a blue. Then pick up a brown and cross to the brown. So keep doing this two needle right angle weave and go all the way to this side to get right over here. Alright, so I kept on going and now I'm here. I have this string exiting out the cream and this one's exiting out the brown. Now I have to pick a blue up on this string. So I'm going to pick a blue up on my right, and then I'm going to pick up two oranges and cross to them. And now we have this. Now I'm going to take my right string, it's red, and I'm going to pick up two brown seed beads. I'm going to take this string and go through this leg right here. So this was the top point. Over there's my sides. So this one here is going to be my other leg. So I'm going through this blue six out. And now I'm going to take and pick up two brown seed beads and cross through them and now we have this it's kind of tough to see because of the camera I'm going to take this string and go up through these two brown sea beads on this side of the band. And then I'm going to take and go out 
this blue six out straight out the side. And I'm going to do the same on this side of the ring. This is exiting out of this seed bead. I'm going to take and go through this blue seed bead right here. So pull all your strings. Make sure they're nice and tight. Now if you look at this side, I just did. It is the same as this side. See? So now that we're Xing out these blue six out C beads on the sides, we have to fill in the gaps, just like I always do in my rings. Whatever I do on this side, I'm gonna do on this side. So I'm just gonna show you how to do one side. Go through these two brown seed beads. I'm going to pick up an orange and I'm going to go through this blue C bead on the side. And that's going to sit right beside my, I'm so sorry, two orange C beads. So I was going through these, I picked up an orange and I went through this, and now this orange is sitting beside those two. I'm going to pick up a brown and go through. I'm maxing out this one. I'm going to go through the next C bead. Just like that. I'm going to pick up another brown and go through the next blue C bead. So see I'm filling in the spaces. Just like in this ring. Do it again. Pick up another brown and go through the next blue C bead. And now I'm going to do the same to the other side. I usually do a couple beads and then I go to the other side and I swap back and forth so my tension stays the same on both sides of my ring. So I'm going through these two brown. I'm going to pick up an orange. Go through this blue. Now I'm going to pick up a brown, go through this blue, just like this, pick up another brown, and go through the next blue. So keep on going, filling in the gaps in the side of your ring. This part isn't that hard, it's kind of easy. Fill in all these gaps until you get over here. Keep on going. Alright, so I kept going and this is what I got. Filled in all the gaps, all the way around, and I even filled in these orange seed beads here. And now my strings are exiting out the brown seed beads on the sides. Now, here's something I want to let you go. No, sometimes when you do rings like this, your band will be weird, it'll be like twisted and stuff like that. What I do is I'll get a dowel or a mascara tube or something, sharpie, that would fit inside my ring and I would put it over it. And it stretches it out and it makes it perfectly round. So the loose places are tightened and the tight places are loosened and it's just makes it really nice. And slide it off and it's really round now. Okay, so. I'm going to show you how to do like maybe one or two knots because I'm running out of time. Um, what I do on this side, you would have to do on that side. So I'm exiting out of these here. I'm going to take my string and go up through this loop of brown seed beads in the band. And I'm going to go through my loop twice. Slide my knot all the way down. I'm going to go through this six out C bead, exit out, and now because this is an advanced tutorial, I'm going to tell you what to do from here. Take your string and go through these two C beads, go through this one, do not tie knots in this, it'll look terrible. Go through these two, then tie a knot right here between this blue and this brown. Tie a knot here, a half inch knot, and then go through this brown. 
and then go up through these blue, go through this orange, go through these cream, tie knot, go through this six, go up, go through here, go through here, tie knot, so you go through here, tie knot here, go back through, up. So it's kind of like that. I hope you understand this. This is a advanced tutorial and this was one of the toughest rings I've ever made and I hope you understood everything I said. I try to keep the ring in the center of the camera but it's very hard because the tripod is in front of me and the string gets caught in the tripod so I'm trying my best to show you how to do it. So I hope you guys like this. I've never seen anybody else make a ring like this before. I've never seen star rings. I've seen star earrings but they were flat and very simple and this is 3D this is really dimensional and it to me it looks so much like a puffy or a cushioned starfish if you've ever seen one they're very amazing they're the size of a dinner plate and they are so thick just like that they're very awesome I want to thank everybody for watching and I hope you can make this ring please subscribe if you haven't yet leave a comment like this video and you have to come visit me on Facebook there is so much stuff going on in there it's amazing I wish I had more time to be on there anyways thanks for watching and I hope you can make this ring and show me on Facebook later guys